Hi everybody, welcome back to my next episode of Dr. Hydro. Today I have to clean out my Arrow Garden Bounty. I'm noticing uh, a little bit of algae growth in there. It's perfectly normal to happen after some time, but it does need to be maintained in order to maintain the integrity of your plants. I figured that while I did that, I could give you a little bit of information on this model of Arrow Garden, my experience with it, and um, hopefully get you to check it out. Okay, so now that I have brought the, uh, I have unplugged this device and I have brought it to my kitchen in order to clean it. So I'm going to show you how this is going to work. This light comes off. That's one of the things I like about this model. This is telescopic, so you can shift it as your plants get taller and taller. It goes up pretty high. Remove the light so that you don't damage it. And then we can see inside here, we've had some algae growth. Let's take these guys out. And while we're here, we can also look at the roots. We need to unplug this from the water pump. And we can see that my basil is really taking off. And basil likes, it, basil is naturally hydroponic. It loves water. It can grow in water, it thrives in water. Um, so basil is kind of easy to grow. I love it. it. Makes you feel good. And then I've got some thyme in here. My onions did not germinate. I can't really see inside there. It's meant to be that way because while you do want plants to reach for the light, you have to kind of restrict light also in these kinds of pods because it can start algae growth. And we can actually see here that that started. So that did not successfully germinate. My thyme looks really good. I love thyme. I love putting it in chicken soup and all kinds of, of meals. It smells really good. This other onion also did not germinate. I'm gonna, I can pop those pods out too when I'm done and we can get a closer look at them. And it looks like my cilantro did not germinate either. So nothing came of my onions and my cilantro. That's fine. I'm not heartbroken about that because I have thyme and I have basil and I love thyme and basil. So I'm going to take this little platform here and I'm going to grab a spaghetti pot, the biggest one I have, to rest this in. I don't like to lace things flat on the counter because I feel like it could transfer some kind of dirt or stuff into my model. I'm going to rest this here inside this pot and it fits just right and I know because I've tried out almost every single pot in my kitchen and this one fits just right. I've also had this celery growing under the Arrow Garden light since I had some extra little spaces here. I had it kind of sitting here on the edge and as you can see my celery had a lot of good growth. Um, I had what this was literally was just celery that I used for soup. I cut it, I saved the base of the celery I kept that intact and it just started growing more celery. I've done this before and I had so much celery I had to give it away to neighbors. Um, but I had so many great soups. My kids loved getting fresh celery from the garden. So this was grown under Arrow Garden and it looks really good. Okay, so now that I've taken the base off, we can see inside where light has gone through these empty holes, algae growth was um, starting to grow. So I need to clean this out. And while I do that, I'm gonna tell you about this model. So this is the Arrow Garden Bounty. It has nine pods. It comes with a built-in pump. It comes with uh, preset light cycles where you can just put into the Arrow Garden uh, in these settings here when I have this plugged in. It, and this is actually pretty light, so I, li I like this for a countertop model. But um, you can put in here whether you're growing tomatoes or herbs or anything like that, and it has um, pre-built in custom settings for whatever it is you're growing. So it's really user friendly, it's really great for beginners. It's actually how I got my, my, uh, my hands wet in hydroponics. Just thought I was gardening and doing great at it because everything that I grew, everything that I planted grew. So 
I fell in love with this model and it just kind of um, blossomed into a gardening obsession. Alright, so now that this is clean, I can show you what's inside of it. So this piece here helps the water flow. So uh, the Aero Garden, like I said, it has a built-in pump system for your plants. And what that pump system does is it oxygenates the water in this reservoir. And this pump also distributes water into the pods here to keep them moist to encourage germination and growth. So you can see here these little channels. This is where the water trickles through. And again, that is on a timer. That is something that you put into the Aero Garden when you set it for whatever it is you're growing. So Aero Garden knows what kind of lights you're gonna need for whatever it is you're growing. So I can just go right ahead and put this right back in. I'm gonna rinse it off. So I'm gonna put this little guy, this little valve right back in. This is the only part that trips me up when I try to put it back together because I have to remember how I took it out. All right, so I put that valve piece back in and I'm gonna get a rag and dry this off. Might as well clean this off too because keep things clean for your plants and they will appreciate it. All right, so here's a nice clean reservoir. I've cleaned out all the algae. The next thing I'm gonna wanna do is kind of wipe off this top part because I do see some dust here. And then I'm going to do what I should have done the first time around and close up these holes here. I'm gonna do that with some reflective aluminum foil and the purpose of that is to keep this uh, from getting too much light penetration into the reservoir, which helps contribute to algae breeding. This model also comes with this little piece here, which I have lost, but it's really cool because it lets you take it off and you can pour water right through here, and then you put it right back. So now I'm gonna show you this bottom piece here. This is where your pump is housed. This pump comes with this little piece which is meant to act as a filter so that your roots don't get sucked into or any, any kind of dirt or particulates that might be in your reservoir. They don't get sucked into the pump that can ultimately damage a pump. It also has this little nozzle here, uh, or I'm sorry, this little um, turning nozzle thingy that lets you adjust how often the water comes out through the top here, or you can just leave it to the preset setting. It's, I've never had a problem with it. This little plug is part of this pump structure here, and this plugs into the base of the Aero Garden. Okay, so that's going to be um, ready to go after I put my water and my nutrients in here because I still do check the pH um, for, for Aero Garden as well. So let's talk about this light. This has uh, three different spectrums. It has red, white, and blue. First is white. White is for um, germination. Then we have the blue and the red. The blue encourages yields and the red encourages flower growth. And when you tell Aero Garden with this little panel here, what it is you want to grow, it will set a custom timer for these lights and it will also set um, the variation between those light spectrums to accommodate your plant. So let me get some water in this reservoir and I will show you the nutrients that Aero Garden sends with you when you buy this device. Okay, so when you buy the Aero Garden devices, they're gonna send you this, and they're also gonna send you this bottle of nutrients. Depending on the model that you buy, it will tell you um, how many capfuls to feed it. Uh, Aero Garden doesn't really focus on pH. Um, this is meant to be more of a countertop or a beginner's model, so um, I, don't, I think that pH and PPMs are way too overwhelming to get into and can be very intimidating when you're starting and might even discourage you from using this at all. So they make it simple in that they tell you how many capsules to put in for the stage of growth that your plants are in and also for the model that you have. This is the nine pod model. So this has a recommendation of eight milliliters, which is two capsules at startup. So once I refill this, it's considered startup uh, if I do it the first time. 
This will be my second time refilling this though, so it's my plants are not babies anymore. They've already germinated. So every two weeks thereafter, it says to give 12, uh, 12 milliliters, which is three capfuls. So it is tailored to whatever model you have, whether you have the smaller size, there is one larger countertop model size from this model, and it has the feeding schedule there too. Now, the other thing that they'll send you is these little um, seed germination pods. These are some sort of a cocoa um, spongy type of material. And what you do is you put your seed right in there, and then you put it into this pod holder, and it fits in just like that. You just drop it right in, and then once your seed is in here, you put it in to the, um, to the base. Here, you just rest it right into the, the little holders. And then the Aero Garden is set to wet this little sponge every, uh, every hour or however long you set it for, if you change it, but it has it built in specific to whatever it is you're growing. So that's what you get when you buy uh, Aero Garden countertop bottles and now I'm going to get this prepped for to put my um, my garden back in here and get it back started hi everybody I had to make a part two to this video so I wanted to stop after I clean my water reservoir in order to give me some time to go over the water and the light cycle and um, uh, other things that you get when you buy an Aero Garden Bounty or any Aero Garden model. If you stay tuned to part two, you'll learn more about the Aero Garden. Thank you.